फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू आर्य वटर कैरियर एकेडमी ए फेमस कोटेशन इज देयर आई सॉरी टेल मी एंड आई फॉरगेट टीच मी एंड आई रिमेंबर इन्वॉल्व मी एंड आई लर्न दिस ए कोटेशन सेड बाय ए फेमस साइंटिस्ट बेंजामिन फ्रैंकलिन हु डिस्कवर्ड electricity so let us start from learning i want to involve you in my teaching because the topic is current electricity thoda sa idhar idhar ho jayega to four pati ka jhatka lag jayega isliye aap log ko dhyan se sunna chahiye let us start today's discussion is इंटरनल रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ सेल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ईएमएफ टर्मिनल वोल्टेज एंड इंटरनल रेसिस्टेंस एंड फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग द इंटरनल रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ द सेल सो वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इंटरनल रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ ए सेल suppose this is a cell now this cell is connected with a now the cell is present in a circuit this is the positive <coughs> terminal this is the negative terminal here inside this cell electrolyte is there chemicals are there so when the cell is connected in a circuit current flows inside this cell as well as outside this cell the fact is that the current inside this cell is due to flow of ions whether it is positive ions or negative ions and the current in the circuit is due to flow of electrons i can say that inside this cell current flows from negative to positive outside this cell the current flows from positive to negative inside this cell current is due to flow of uh, ions both cations as well as anions and outside this cell means in this circuit external circuit current flows due to flow of electrons so in the external circuit the direction of current is from higher potential to lower potential whereas inside this cell the direction of current is from lower potential to higher potential but when the current flow there is a resistance a resistance offered by the electrolyte present inside this cell so that resistance is called internal resistance the resistance offered by the electrolyte inside this cell is called the internal resistance here whenever we draw the current we find there is a voltage drop that voltage drop is due to internal resistance of the cell so i can say that the resistance offered by the electrolyte to the flow of current is called 
alt internal resistance so whenever we draw the current from a cell there is a voltage drop that voltage drop is due to internal resistance of the cell so i can write that v equal to i r this v for the voltage drop this is i for the current where the r for the internal resistance see here children this is the electromotive force this is the internal resistance of a cell these are the two terminals so we express the internal resistance of the cell in this form okay so let us move to the relationship between electromotive force terminal voltage and internal resistance relationship between emf electromotive force terminal voltage and internal resistance of a cell we see the relationship between these three factors so it is better to draw this diagram see here. now this is present in a circuit this is the external resistors we can measure the terminal voltage across its ends this is the direction of a current this is electromotive force this is internal resistor listen carefully children here in the external circuit there is a resistor i written capital r inside this cell i have written small r which is the internal resistance of the cell so how we calculate the total resistance total resistance is equal to r plus r external resistance plus internal resistance now current drawn from the cell how much current we get i is equal to i can write current is the electromotive force upon total resistance i got a total resistance r plus r that's a written i is equal to e of epsilon upon r plus r this epsilon stands for the electro motive force this is external resistance this is internal this is external sorry sorry i think it will not appear so better i should write here
so this current is equal to this is electromotive force this one is external resistance this is internal resistance so now we know that terminal voltage previous videos i explained about the terminal voltage okay so this epsilon i can write in this form also r plus r this terminal voltage i know this is the product of i and r r is the external resistance i is the current in that circuit according to the ohm's law i have written v equal to i r similarly i wrote that this voltage drop is equal to i into small r here r is the internal resistance whereas the r capital r is the external resistance so now i can say that this electromotive force is the sum of terminal voltage plus voltage drop earlier videos i explained it is the sum of terminal voltage that means voltage across the resistors and this is the voltage drop inside this cell that is due to internal resistance just we discussed so i can say that this voltage drop is equal to electromotive force minus terminal voltage internal so this voltage drop is equal to epsilon minus v that means this is the difference between electromotive force and the terminal voltage what you say voltage or potential difference okay children so this one so the relationship between voltage drop terminal voltage and electromotive force now we will establish the relationship between emf terminal voltage and internal resistance so i can say that v is equal to i r or i can say that r is equal to v by i so in place of this voltage drop i can use also epsilon minus v upon i in place of i i can use also v by r okay children see here so now i can write that epsilon by v minus v by v or it is equal to so i can write that this r is equal to internal resistance is equal to epsilon by v minus 1 into r this is the relationship between internal resistance emf and the terminal voltage last one the factors affecting the internal resistance factors affecting the internal 
resistance. So one of the factor is the surface area. I can say that larger the surface area less is the internal resistance that means when the surface area will be more there will be more space the obstruction will be minimum so we can say that larger the surface area less is the internal resistance next point distance between the electrodes when the distance between the electrodes increases resistance increases so i can say that internal resistance increase with increase in distance between the electrodes this is the second point one is the surface area second part i said the distance between the electrodes third point is that nature and concentrate concentration of electrolytes nature and concentration of electrolytes if it is a less ionic or you can say the concentration of the electrolyte is high then the resistance will be low in less ionic ions are less or high concentration internal resistance is high fourth point this is the third point fourth point is the temperature if the temperature increases particle starts to move with the higher speed we can say that resistance decreases so i can say that resistance decreases with increase in temperature this is about the internal resistance so today i explain internal resistance relationship between internal resistance electromotive force and the terminal voltage and also the factors associated with the internal resistance i hope you might have understood so i hope children you have to share this video with your friends as a result they can also get the benefit if anything is there you are thinking that anything is lacking you can comment on the comment box definitely i shall go through it and i shall take the right steps to correct myself thank you